I've literally been having creditors call me and being like, yo, what's your payment? That's how tight it's been, girl. everybody welcome to another vlog today is a beautiful Tuesday morning I always have to check my days because I work at night now so I come home in the morning I'm just like was it Monday or is it Tuesday now <laughs> Gecko with the Super Ninja pretty the good thing about my job is at least I'm able to tuck them in at night and wake them up in the morning so I just got home from work and right when I walked through the door both of those two were already up Nathan wakes up early um, I don't know if I let you guys know, but I already um, got Nathan all set up to go to school at, our, at his new school, and he actually started yesterday. So he started school yesterday. So usually he tends to wake up early and just get ready, you know, instead of just sitting on the bed. Can you stop? You're choking me. Get down, please. Nathan's downstairs. He's just chilling, waiting for us because he honestly doesn't have to leave for another 25 minutes. So. While we're waiting for the time to pass by, since both the kids are ready, what I'm going to do is, well, she's not ready. I'm going to put some pants on her. <laughs> <laughs> While I am waiting for the time to pass by, I'm going to get her ready, and then I'm going to finish editing the vlog from a few days ago. Alright, so... Doing a little bit of that editing. Now I'm going to get Nadia ready so we could take her to Nathan's school. Yes, me too, me, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Come here, let me tie your hair up. Now I'm with Moana. Moana, make way, make way. Moana is tiny and new. The people of Montego is all you Here. Should we put some jeans on her or shorts? Let's put some jeans on her. Come here. Come here, let me see. Me? Yeah, let me see you. Come here. Where'd you spill? Show me. Like right here on the side. Oh, it's fine. It's not wet, is it? No, it's fine. Alright, you're fine. Go ahead. You're ready. Let's put your pants on. <laughs> Careful, cutie. Hold your shirt. Mm -hmm. Ow. Oh, it's it's kind of snug, huh? Dang, girl, you got gained some weight on you. Let's loosen it up for you. <laughs> yep, still tight. Dang, girl. Out here living your best life. <laughs> oh my god, that makes me laugh. My little chunky monkey. My little chunky monkey. Show me what you got, baby. It's so cute. You wanna brush your teeth? That's my makeup. Don't touch it. Don't don't touch that. Thank you. Nope, I got it. Thank you. All right, here you go. Let's wash your hands. Here you go. <laughs> what is this red bumps on your face? Let me see this. What is that? A pimple? No. Looks like a pimple. Oh my god, baby acne. Come on guys, let's go. We will later. Let's go focus on school first. Let's do it. Nadia outside. Put that toy down, Nadia. You're not taking it. Bye! Oh my gosh. Your tests are evil. They can't evil. tell evil. They can't tell evil. Yeah, cats oh. are evil too. Dogs are the good guys. It's so just evil. You don't like cats? No, they scratch people. Yeah, I like yeah, dogs. They scratch not just, yeah, they scratch not just hands. We like dogs. Yeah. Huh. They, they, they scratch We're people. dog people. Yeah, dog people. <laughs> no, Sunshine don't like cats. Oh, Sunshine? She likes cats. She does? She yeah, does. Sunshine's friendly. I thought all of the, I thought all no, it's cats that don't like people. Cats are mean, but dogs are nice. All right, I'll watch you. Bye. Bye, I love you. Bye. Nadia, come here. Uh-oh. Nate's going to school. He's going to school.
stop your whining. Come on. Stop the whining. One. Go ahead and have your attitude, but you better stop that whining. One. Two. You feel better? Less cranky? No? Still cranky? Uh, still cranky. I'm literally running on fumes. I'm so tired. I haven't slept yet. I got off work at like 6.30. And then it took me like 35 minutes, 40 minutes to get home. I'm sleepy. Ow! I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I have to go to the doctors. It's almost nine. Nadia is watching um, Blippi. Living your best life. You just chilling here, okay, while I get ready for the doctors? Oh, no thanks. You'll be staying with Grandpa. After that little tantrum you threw when we dropped Nathan off, I don't think so. So, I just got out of my doctor's appointment, and right now I'm in the line at Starbucks in the drive-thru because I am in need of a pick-me-up. Like, I need something. I'm literally running on fumes right now. It's 12 in the afternoon. I woke up at 6, not woke up, but I got off work at 6.30 in the morning and I haven't slept, so I'm literally exhausted. So I have to go to the courthouse to get some papers and um, get things filled out for, you know, my whole situation. But <laughs> literally, I swear, like, these people are about to, like, know me by name and become my best friends because I'm, like, in and out of that place doing everything by myself, you know, because... Obviously, like I don't have an attorney. I don't know if I didn't tell you guys that, but I don't have an attorney. I've been kind of doing this by myself, solo dolo, and I've been using um, legal aid. They've been assisting me as far as like, you know, everything that needs to get done and giving me, you know, advice and whatnot. So, yeah, literally, this is, you could see the dynamic of the situation. Carlo has an attorney. I do not have an attorney. If I can tell any young female or any female at all, if you have the opportunity to get an education or to get a job, stack your money, whatever you need to do, do it, you know? And not to say that every man out there is like Carlo, just a deadbeat that's just gonna leave you to raise your babies by yourself and abandon his family. No, I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is have a backup plan. Us as women, I just feel like sometimes we just get shitted on so much. I've always been about like women empowerment and kind of just like, you know, you know, team mom and you know, team team parent of course, but being a mother in itself is just different. If I could give any advice to any female out there and if I can go back and give young Dominique advice, I would honestly say finish school, get a job, stack your money, do all that, you know. Rely yes on <clears throat> your partner for you know emotional needs and other things and rely on each other you know but also take care of yourself first and foremost you know and that's kind of the situation that I'm at right now I'm just like damn I wish I would have finished school I wish that I would have um, got a job instead of being like you know <laughs> a multitude of things just is going through my mind with this whole situation <clears throat> you know Obviously, being a stay-at-home mom, it was just ideal for my situation with my ex-husband and with the two kids that we have. And it was just, I guess, more financially, you know, reasonable and realistic to be a stay-at-home mom. You know, daycare was just through the roof. And I can be with my kids and raise my kids and take care of them, you know, to the best of my ability, you know, versus just paying somebody else to do it, you know. Now, being in a situation, I feel like daycare, it could be, you know, for a multitude of things, people could put their child in daycare because they want their child to be more social. They put their child in daycare because they need assistance, because they need to go to work, which is a situation that I am finding myself in now, you know? Before, when I wanted to put Nathan and Nadia in daycare and preschool early was for social reasons, so they can be around other kids, so they can learn and their mind can grow. And <clears throat> that is definitely one of the reasons as well right now 
but the reason the main reason why I need to have my kids in daycare is because I need assistance I need somebody to watch my children while I go to work so I can provide and do what I need to do so yeah definitely um I don't know where I was going with that but if I could go back I would work straight up dang girl he's so fine hey let me zoom in he's so fine <laughs> i'm gonna turn this way just to get in trouble girl <laughs> i hate myself i went in to the courthouse to the filing clerk thing whatever document control or whatnot and there was this guy there i saw him there last time he was so handsome he had a beard last time i saw him he was latino oh my god green eyes light skin so fine light brown hair oh my god he's so handsome so i saw him there today and he was actually the one who was helping me um get my papers and he was just like um I asked him for my papers and he was just like, do you have your case number? I was like, oh no, I don't have it. I'm sorry. Like, I totally forgot to bring my papers. He's like, no, that's totally fine. Like, um, do you have your ID? So I'm looking at my wallet. I was like, oh my God, I don't have my ID either. Like, I literally couldn't find it. And then I was like, I can't believe I don't have my ID. Where is it? And he was just like, he was like, well, where did you go out Friday night? And I was just like, what? <laughs> So I was just like, I didn't go out Friday night, but I went out Sunday night. And then he was just like, um, I was just like, oh, I did go out Sunday night. Let me think about where I went. And then I was like, I know where my ID is. So I look in my purse and I was like, it's probably in my side pocket. And I pull it out, I was like, here's my ID. And then um, he was just like, oh, see, there you go, you found it. And I was just like, look at you helping me find my ID and stuff. <laughs> oh my God, he was so cute. So um, anyways. So, um, he gave me the papers, and he was just like, so what bar did you go to? I was like, Liz, stop flirting with me. He's like, what bar did you go to? And I was just like, oh, I went to this bar that my um, homegirl works at. Um, and then I told him um, what the place is called, and he was like, he was like, is it um, exactly how it sounds? And I was just like, yeah, no, it is a little ratchet. <laughs> it was a ratchet bar. Like, it's not ratchet ratchet, but like, it's not a bar that I would just go to all the time just because I loved it. You know what I mean? So I definitely went because my friend worked there just to see her. So anyways, um, I was just like, it's definitely something you can try for like once, like if you wanted to try and da da da. So I was like, maybe I'll have to give it a try. I was just like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so anyways, he gave me my papers and then I was like, okay, well have a good day. And he was just like, you have a good day too. I was like okay <laughs> so girl i'm just like there's so many handsome men out here like i'm looking around like i love being single like i honestly like after just kind of getting over that hump of being like getting over a divorce and like being used to being married and like starting to get more comfortable being single and like what that entails and you know i like it like i like being single it's so much fun like there's so many beautiful men out here and I'm just like now don't get me wrong I am in no position and no way ready to get in a relationship but that doesn't mean that I like I have fun <laughs> I'm a grown woman I'm 30 years old it's fine it's fine You're supposed to be asleep. Give me that tablet. Okay, ready? Today I'll be a princess. I'll get to wear pretty dresses that swish and swirl. And sparkly shoes that make me feel fancy. Let's sing a song. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm cuddle buddy. You make me happy with skies are gray. You may not know, dear, how much Lori loves you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I've literally been having creditors call me and being like, yo, what's your payment? That's how tight it's been, girl. I've never missed a payment. 
my credit is like amazing like I have good credit like I've never been in a position where I couldn't like pay my bills on time so because of this whole move I had had to like establish like what bills need to get paid first and foremost so I have like creditors calling me like yo what's up like where are the payments at da, 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 da. And I'm just like oh my god so after this move has been settled and I'm able to like establish like my bills accordingly I should get back on track but as of right now like it's been overwhelming for me honestly because I've never been in a position where I was unable to pay my bills on time this month cannot end sooner girl and this month cannot <laughs> I'm just over this month of August like September come through Come through September so we can get back on track, girl. I picked up Nathan from school, so um, he's home and he's doing his homework. It's like, um, it's been a little bit, so it's like almost four. It's like been like an hour, so he's doing his homework. And I'm about to fill out um, these papers that they sent home. And then um, I need to edit um, a vlog from before so I can get that up. But girl, I, I, I've been up from work since this morning like I haven't slept like you know like I've been I went to the doctors and I had to go to court and I've just been running errands and then like I've just been up I had to pick up Nathan so like right now like my body is like a little like twitch like I'm so twitchy and like I'm like I'm running on fumes and like I just feel like uh <laughs> it's like I need to get some type of um, sleep because I have to get up and go to work again tonight so Honestly, like I have leftover dinner for the kids. I made like a butter pasta, butter bow tie, butter bow tie pasta. It's really easy. Literally, you just get the bow tie pasta, cook it, put like a half a stick of butter with salt and pepper. Dinner's done. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do um, leftovers of that, so I don't have to get up and cook anything right now, just because like my body is just so overworked. So. Can I watch Sleepy? Mom, can you watch Sleepy? Yeah, you can. Give me a second. I Sleepy. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> my hands, like. Mom, help. I'm trying to sign the ship and I'm, I can't. I Sleepy. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm literally writing like a third grader right now. Okay, honey, give me a give me a second. Hey, mom. Give me the mom, walls are like paper. If you accidentally do this when you're running by, you can okay, actually erase it. Okay, this is fine. Um, that's fine. You can put it. You can put it in your folder. So I just finished editing my video. I'm gonna try to get it up for you guys um, really soon. Probably, obviously, it'll go up before this one. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> so tired. So um, I am gonna have to wrap up this vlog here because it's almost five, and I'm, I need to, I have to get some type of sleep because I gotta get up and go back to work tonight. I love you. Okay. Who me? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I I. You guys will eat dinner for sure and take baths. I just feel like I just want to sleep. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this day, um, as I enjoyed making it, of course. Um, if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me, and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one, baby.